What's up, Sao fans around the world, and welcome back to another video. I'm super hyped about this. It has been tons of work with this car to get to this stage, and now it's turbo time. And another fantastic news is that Saab Turbo Club of Sweden has just announced that the 25th of April will be the first track day of the year, 2021, which is amazing news. So now it's time to speed up this process and get this build going, get the new turbo, some bigger injectors and uh, get this a proper tune and see what power we are making and then of course take it to the track and see how it performs will be the like ultimate test so yeah let's get it going so first up some parts that we are working with there are more parts coming together with the new turbo but i don't have them just yet but the first thing we are going to do is of course empty out the coolant and the oil again the oil has been in the car for like I don't know a month just a little daily driving no not daily driving just some test driving and now it needs to be emptied out again but we have the bigger turbo the GTX 2867R Gen 2 turbo so this is a ball bearing turbo with internal wastegate and it should be able to produce something like oops 550 horsepower or something like that under the right conditions and we got some steel braided lungs and this will be interesting because the exhaust manifold that we are going to fit is going to move the turbo a bit and I think these lines are fitted for the turbo on the original exhaust so we will see how it matches up and another challenge will be the, the oil return pipe I guess I'm going to use this and then just use some type of hose because it's not pressurized it, it just needs to be flowing into the oil pan again so this is an exhaust manifold that I picked up some time ago and it is stainless steel it's not one of those Chinese one it's a homemade one but it looks pretty good and it's not that thin material like one millimeter one and a half millimeter this is like two two and a half three it has like one crack in it on the side so I'm gonna mark up the new flange the T25 flange and then I'm gonna have a friend weld it for me since I don't have a TIG welder and we need to modify the the downpipe as well because now it's bolted up and this has a 3 inch V-band I bought this too so we will see if the V-band fits this one it looks kind of thick to me this one right here but we will see so that would be kind of interesting the interesting part will be how it sits inside the engine bay because it's it's pretty tight but I know I know people that running like GT30s without a problem so should be okay but the the exhaust manifold decides a lot when it comes to the positioning so let's get it going I'm gonna drain the oil and the coolant and if you want to see how that is done you can watch like the engine build where I do, does it so we will just skip ahead to disassembling the downpipe and the turbo
So this is the look right now with the original 15T turbo together with the three and a half inch downpipe and you can see it sits pretty tight and right here is one of the spots that's really bad for the 9.5s you can see the compressor of the turbo sits so close to the water pump so it's like impossible to get a really nice inlet for the turbo so on the new one it will sit a little bit higher and a little bit move to the side so I think we will be having a much much nicer flow into the turbine at least then my worries are at the downpipe but we will figure that out somehow because it's going to sit a little bit higher and probably a little bit further away so I don't think it's plenty of room actually to the pressure pipe so I don't think it will interfere but we need to do some custom work right there and we also going to install a wideband lambda sound to the downpipe somewhere but yeah so now I'm going to take down the downpipe we're going to disassemble the exhaust manifold and then we will disassemble the turbo and start with the fun stuff So now we have an empty space to work with. So let's see what we can come up with. Everything out. Here's a little comparison with the old 15T versus the new GTX. Quite a difference and I'm so hyped to try this just to just see how it feels. So now we're gonna throw on the new exhaust manifold and mock up the turbo together with the new exhaust manifold flange. to a couple of issues straight away since the turbo is running in internal wastegate it gets pretty wide and this fan pack that's right here the cooling fans the package is so wide so it, it just interferes with the internal wastegate and also this water pipe in here so you can really see the one that made this pipe wants the turbo to sit more outside so what I'm going to do I think is since I'm not running a AC condenser I have some space to move the intercooler package forward so I'm going to make some custom brackets and move this to a little bit forward so I get a couple of centimeters of play so that the turbo can sit freely. So I tried everything in my power to make the turbo fit but the radiator fans are just too thick so it just interfered with the turbo. So I went and picked up some thinner slim fans which should do the job. So I'm gonna mount this on the radiator and then I will undo these ones and maybe have to cut out a little bit right here and then mount this like cover over these because they are the same size as the stock one. 
but they will sit lower. So I think this will be a really good option to make some space. And I threw off the radiator and the intercooler so we can just work without interfering with anything. So I'm going to install the turbo as close to the block as I can. So you can see the inlet, it's quite tight, but I know that DO88 has these Cobra intakes that will be very good suited for this. Or maybe a 90 degree elbow, we will see. Either or, I think will work pretty good. And the V-band is lining up really good, so I don't think there will be any problem to do a downpipe out of this one right here, so I think this will be a really nice setup. So now I'm gonna tack weld in this flange and then we might start with the downpipe I think and then I will try to set the radiator back again and see if everything fits and if it still interferes with the wastegate we will move it out a little bit there is space for it but it will require some more work so turbo is now hanging on the tack welds looking really good so now we're gonna unwrap the downpipe from the exhaust trap and put it in place and see how much wrong it is and we are going to cut off this flange right here. So I think the plan will be just to install the V-band right here. And then I think we will need to cut it off right here because it needs to be a little bit higher up. But I hope that uh, like the side placement will be pretty good. So let's unwrap this and we will see how it fits. To be the first test fit, this is really not that far off. It needs to come back a little bit and up a little bit, so the angle is a little bit wrong. But it's pretty damn close, so it actually will be a little bit better against the gearbox than it was before. It was a little bit tight, but... So I'm gonna cut it in half and then we should be able to cut some small pieces, tack weld it together and we will be good to go. So 
this is how far I've come. I had to change the V-band on the new adapter to make it fit and I sliced up the old downpipe so now it's almost together just needs a little piece down here to make it fit unfortunately ran out of welding wire so have to continue tomorrow. So that's part one of the turbo build. So I'm gonna slice this up a bit because if I would have filmed everything all together it would take a while and it would be like an hour video to watch. So I rather slice it up into more parts so you can follow this build. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any tips on the build because that's another great thing when you, when you build like this and stop and do a part one if someone, I'm not the best in the world and if someone has a, a great like idea or a tip that you can do on a different way please leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.